how to adjust the sound volume of multiple clips on the timeline of Premiere Pro 2020. So that's the video and that's the audio. Double click here on the left side and that empty area. Okay, and now it's expanded. Now let's show that line in the middle. Go here to the wrench icon and show audio keyframes. And here we have a line. By dragging that line up and down, I'm adjusting the volume of just one clip, like so. Undo, undo. And if I go here to this show keyframes, that O, below the text, okay, let's modify it from clip keyframes to track keyframes and volume. So click on volume. So track keyframes refers to the entire track, this one. So if I modify that line up and down, notice it's modifying it to, I mean, for all of the clips on that track. Okay, so that's the short answer. Now let's analyze it a little bit further. If I go back to clip keyframes and do a modification, let's say hold down control key, and drag it down. I can see that modification here in audio clip mixer and rendering, okay. So the line is going down and it is going down here also. Since the line is going up, it's going up here also. That's fine. Now if you go to the next one, track keyframes, volume, and position it let's say there okay and drag it down let's make the other one a bit larger okay then this movement is not visible here because this one this line is for the track and this one is for the clip so we need to go to window and audio track mixer so this one refers to the track, and this one refers to the clip. The clip has smaller circle and the track has larger circle. And we are, when we are on the track mixer, we can see the modification here. And now it will go up and it's going up there also. Okay, and how to delete these keyframes? That's another interesting question because if I use the first one, selection tool, it's selecting a clip itself. It's not selecting those dots. So instead of the selection tool, use that one, P, pen. This P is the hotkey. And you cannot drag from the outside. It's not working that way. You have to drag from the inside, so come above the audio track and there you can make a selection and notice now they are blue, they are selected and you can delete them. Delete. The same with that clip keyframes also. You cannot drag from the outside, it's not doing anything, but from the inside with the pen tool and then delete.